Welcome back to my channel, Mother Suckers. Hey, I am Eloho, and I really wanted to come through and discuss this topic with y'all. I feel like I have an unpopular opinion when it comes to the new Sierra song. If you don't know, there's been a lot of controversy surrounding Sierra's new song for the girls. Now, the full song hasn't dropped yet, but Sierra was posting some clips on her socials. The lyrics encourage women to be independent and not need a man, but fans couldn't help but notice that Sierra has been happily married to Russell Wilson for years. Someone said, no Sierra, go write better lyrics. Keep the beat and everything else, but no to pushing the single independent narrative when you are in your man's house, bed, and other parts of him every night. No, baby. Someone else said, Sierra, please stop this now. We're tired of being independent. We want a life like yours. Please stop promoting this type of music when you go in straight home to be loved on. So Beyonce was not married to Jay-Z when Single Ladies dropped? No, that Sierra song is kind of crazy. And she has built too much of a family brand to still be making great value single ladies. Now, Sierra is a mother of three kids, a wife, a homemaker. But people often forget that Sierra is also an artist. She's a dancer, she's a singer and a songwriter. And she was a high earning woman way before she met Russell Wilson. She's been through good and bad relationships like most women. Women. And if you're a fan of Sierra and you know Sierra, you know that she's big on affirmations. I really think a lot of people only heard the independent, I don't need a man clip. And let me say, I do think the song could have done without that part, but girl, this song is a bop. Get that money, sis. Keep them on they tip. They be trying to press you, but you ain't pressed to it. I'm way too fine to be inside. I'm outside, having my own shit booking my own trips don't ever let them disrespect you and call you out your name you have these boys obsessed and can't stop mentioning your name i'm bad i'm gorgeous hey i'm very important uh-huh this is for the girls getting money this is for the girls that don't need no man. This is for the girls who's in love with themselves. For all the girls who done did it by themselves. And on her Instagram, Sierra had a picture collage with a song playing in the background with the caption, my forever letter to myself. So Sierra is really talking to herself. Um, and this is very on brand for Sierra. I found this interview of Sierra and Russell and I want y'all to check this out. You didn't need me. You may have wanted me. <laughs> but you didn't need me. You didn't need me. Mm. That was sexy to me. Mm -hmm. You didn't need me. You may have wanted me. <laughs> but you didn't need me. You didn't need me. Mm. That was sexy to me. Mm. Y'all asked Sierra for her prayer. Y'all asked her how did she get Russell. Y'all begged and stalked her, matter of fact for the prayer and for tips on getting a man like Russell. And you know what he said? He said, she didn't need me. What did Sierra say in the song for the girls? This is for the girls that don't need a man. Her husband said, you didn't need me, you wanted me. And that is what attracted me. And this thing ain't one size fits all, right? This advice is not one size fits all. But y'all asked her, what did she do? And she told you through music. The song was about affirmations and her telling her story about what she did, how she had to become independent. She had to go outside and go after her dreams. She had to get money. She had to do all of these things to build herself up, to love herself before she could find a man like Russell, a man who was attracted to a woman who wanted him but didn't need him. She didn't need him to pay for her spirit flights to Cancun. All right, she ain't need that. So again, it's not one size fits all, but it's what attracted Russell. It's her story, right? So she's making this music through her lens from her life experiences. And believe it or not, there are women out there who need to hear music like this. There are broken women out there who need to hear music that inspires them to love themselves. But y'all don't say nothing to the city girls who both have men, who both are in relationships, right? But will rap about scamming and hoeing and pimping and getting money and getting money and getting money from these niggas that they don't like. 
but they're both in quote unquote happy relationships. So let's, let's make it make sense. You know, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at women saying they don't want independent, you know, woman music, but keep that same standard for everyone, every artist, every genre, male, female, non-binary, keep that same energy. Y'all don't want that type of music, right? Y'all don't want music about someone who's not currently living that lifestyle. Keep that same energy. <laughs> Y'all know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the time when everyone was asking Lori Harvey, how did she get that body? How did she get so toned and fit and in shape? And how did she get the way she got, baby? And she told y'all, she said, this is what I eat. This is what I drink. This is how many times I work out. I do this consistently for 30 days and I look how I look. And you know what happened? The same people that begged her for her workout routine, begged her for her meal prep plans, those same people said, uh-uh, I'm not doing that. Uh-uh, you anorexic, you bulimic. Oh no, you starving yourself. Oh no, you not, you not healthy, you ain't doing it right. But y'all asked her for her advice on how she got a specific outcome. She told you and you told her no. This is the world that we live in, people. <laughs> But CC did CC y'all, okay? She did respond to the backlash and this was her response. You know what it never was? That serious. It was never that serious. You know what it never was? That serious. It was never that serious. Child, Ciara said it was not that serious, okay? Y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. I know people were really split on this one, um, but Ciara says that she's just speaking life into herself with positive affirmations. If you can relate, this is for you. If you can't, then you can't. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section, and I'll see you at the next one. Have a great weekend. <laughs>